Hi, I'm Don. Welcome or welcome back to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. And of course, I can't do these videos without the support of my patrons. Today, we do commission painting for Grimmskald. It's, I think, the last day of Grimmskald Torch and Shield Kickstarter, so do check that out. The focus of this painting video is the painting of the non-metallic metal armor. So watch as we turn this mini into this. I usually paint my non-metallic metal over black primer. I, I find it most comfortable to do that. In that process, I simply build up the layering from really dark grays and then layer up into the lighter grays and of course, the highlights. However, I get inquiries and of course, during my online workshops at Patreon and even live workshops here at the studio, people, learners, painters, kinda struggle where to put the highlights. Non-metallic metal or NMM painting is just basic layering. It's just a matter of layering up until you reach the highlights. Although the focus of NMM is the painting of the highlights. So since people kinda like struggle where to put the highlights of whenever they paint NMM, I realized I should do the NMM by starting with speed paints. We started with Gravelord Gray here, but you could start with Green Black if you want a darker base. Now let the speed paint dry for around 10 minutes and notice that it produces some subtle highlights and it actually looks like armor NMM already. Although it's looking good, it's looking great, next time I'll use Grim Black. Also notice I'm using Speed Paints 1.0 here, which is not a great base color because they reactivate. So before I actually painted the layering of the other parts of the model and eventually like layering of the armor, I did a really quick matte varnish. So basically, I recommend if you do this process of using Speed Paints as your base colors, it's better if you use Speed Paints 2.0. Now you might ask if you could do this, you could do the base colors of your non-metallic metal with contrast paints. Yes, you can, but like the Basilicum Gray is a little bit darker. Also, it doesn't produce the same contrast as Speed Paints do. Same with, what's the name of the black contrast? Black Legion contrast paint. It's really nice and the coverage is really good. But again, it doesn't produce the same contrast. Meaning it doesn't produce subtle highlights that will be your guide when you're layering up your non-metallic metal. Now before we proceed to the painting of the NMM or armor parts, we paint like the rest of the model, the red cloak and the skin and the other parts of the model. We just like finish it off before we could focus on the NMM painting. Painting with just speed paints though will produce a nice tabletop quality painting. But of course, if you want to push the quality of your painting, you need to do a bit of layering. Now since I recorded this on video, I might as well share like the painting of a face. So I start by painting the lips, like, like not painting the lips, I mean I glaze some reddish color on the cheeks and the lips to give it some more life. And then for the nose, for the other parts, you paint the highlights and of course you paint stubbles, bluish green color at the chin. And the forehead, you must remember, is a bit more yellowish than the cheeks and of course the nose. Now 
Now we paint the non-metallic metal layering. You could use whatever grays, but I had to show Hyro because they have really good coverage. They're made in the Philippines, but I think they're now available at Australia. Now since the speed paints Gravelord Gray here kind of gave you some subtle highlights already, so it's just a matter of pushing these highlights. Although the darker areas are a bit too uniform to my liking, so you'll see in this video I'm kind of pushing the shade areas too a bit later. Depending on the quality of the painting that you want, you could do more layering like mix more colors so that you have really nice gradation or you could do glazes later so that you soften your layering. However, with this one, I just wanted to show you a quick process of starting non-metallic metal painting with speed paints. So now you could see I'm just pushing the highlights. I recommend that you do this first before you do the shades because it's always easier to like apply shades and tone down some of the highlight areas. Now you will see that we keep on pushing the highlights. Basically, you need to do a lot of edge highlighting if you want really nice non-metallic metal because more edge highlighting will make like the armor look more, hmm, more metal. So basically, the great thing about starting your non-metallic metal with speed paints rather than starting it over black primer is that you get a really quick base color with subtle shading and very subtle highlights. In that manner, you kind of like skip some processes or you speed up the painting a lot more instead of like building up really dark grease on top of the black primer. So although the speed paints will kind of guide you where to put the highlights, when you're painting your own highlights, you should be very conscious where your light source are. With this one, I was going for a dungeon look. Like the dwarf is like located under the dungeon. So the main source of light would be a torch. So I use some warm grays here and I will make this warmer as you watch the video. Also, the other side of the model to give it some sort of atmospheric effect, I painted it bluish so that it's the dark side of the model. Once you're happy with your highlights and you're ready to move on with your atmospheric like lighting effects, now you could move on to the washes. Here you see me like thin down the zealot yellow with a bit of medium because it's too like the coverage is too much. So I'm painting it around the left side, my left side, but the right side of the model, which means that the torch, the source of light is on the right side of the model. It's looking gold now. Actually, if you add more zealot yellow, it will look like gold NMM. Now we use here Cloudburst Blue. I also thinned it down with medium, speed paint medium, and apply it on the other side of the model. Eventually, although I did not record it on film, I actually used Magic Blue, but thinned it down with medium again and applied it on the same side of the model. After applying like a couple of passes of these filters, make sure that you let the passes dry in between coats. And then after applying this, I applied really, really small areas of final highlights. Now before I reveal a ton of thanks to all my patrons, because without my patrons, this channel won't be possible. Again, this is Commission Painting for Grimmscald, a Patreon partner. Basically, Patreon partners are entitled to one video, one miniature per month. And if you are a creator, you might want me to paint your miniature. Just message me anywhere. Okay, business aside, my non-metallic metal painting here is a little bit more sketchy than I would want. But a couple of passes of glazes will soften all this layering. But I'm very happy with the result. And the use of the speed paints at the start of the painting of the model was 
really effective. It kind of helped me like guide me where to put the highlights. And it was a quick base colors that was a welcome like help because you don't need to layer up from black primer. Now you could do better non-metallic metal than what I did here but basically you have to spend a little bit more time and do proper layering meaning mixing a lot of colors or you could do fat glazes and thin glazes on top of your layering after once you're done with the speed paints base color and then you could also filter with speed paints at the end like what I did so that you have atmospheric effects. I will definitely do another non-metallic metal painting, this time gold, but using speed paints. And I think you kind of like see how it will go, like sketch black and white and then just use zillet yellow and you have a really nice gold non-metallic metal painting. That's it, Pancit. I hope you like the video and watch these other videos.